Um, the chair now recognizes the president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Jeremy Lazarus, for the presentation of an award. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is now my pleasure to present the AMA Medal of Valor to Susan L. Nogley, MD. Dr. Nogley is a native of Illinois and became Mary, Mary Noel Lay Missioner in 1984. Dr. Nogley's ministry with Mary Noel has been spent entirely in Africa where she has shared her skills as a medical doctor serving in Tanzania, Sudan, and now in Kenya. She has established multiple dispensaries, health centers, and programs, some of which were threatened by or even closed due to violent conflict. She currently works as the health care coordinator for the Catholic Archdiocese of Mombasa, trying to improve the standard of care in 17 health units overseen by the Archdiocese. Dr. Nagali, would you please join me at the lectern? The Medal of Valor is awarded to an AMA member who demonstrates courage under extraordinary circumstances. Dr. Nagali, it is now my pleasure to present you the Medal of Valor. Good morning. We doctors are notorious for being late, so I apologize. And I'm sorry that I wasn't here yesterday to congratulate the other honorees, and I would also like to congratulate them. I would like to thank Dr. Richard Scarnati for telling our story by making my nomination. I'm grateful for my education, beginning with the Dominican sisters who taught me how to write legibly the University of Illinois, SIU School of Medicine, and the Family Practice Residency at Carbondale, Illinois. As you can see, I am a daughter of the land of Lincoln. Since we're on this beautiful island, I would like to use some nautical metaphor. The ship on my journey has been my faith and the Marinol Mission Association. We are a faith community who take care of one another, and we're committed to serving those in need and on the edges of society. The anchor of my ship has been my family. You gave me roots and freedom. And because you are always with me, our home has extended far beyond the borders of Illinois. So, <clears throat> the sea that we are in is a vast collection of humanity, and I would like to tell a story. When I was in Sudan, we had a land cruiser, and I had gone to work with the TB patients, and I had parked this land cruiser next to the building so it would be in a bit of shade. When I finished the work, I was going to move about eight or ten patients to another place. So I went to the back of the Land Cruiser, opened the doors so that they could get in. There were benches on either side. And as they were getting in, I went around the front to get in the driver's seat. As they got in and I opened the door, the car started to roll forward. I had put the emergency brake on, but I had not left the car in gear. I had put it in neutral and the emergency brake wasn't very good. So the momentum of them getting in the car started to push it forward. Now, I could never have done this if I had tried, but with the door open next to the building, as the car rolled forward, it hit the corner of the building and started to push the, the door closed. When I felt that, I reflexively started to jump up into the car, and the door closed on my ankles. So it caught my feet between the door and the door jamb. So here I was, stuck between the door and the door jamb, and I looked around to see about 22 beady eyes full of terror. So I said to the nurse in the passenger seat, okay, Veronica, jump over the gear shift, sit down here and put your foot on the brake. Then I turned around to my patients and I said, get out, go around to the front of the car and push. I usually use that term when a woman was delivering. It worked very well here. So <clears throat> they pushed once, 
They pushed twice, and on the third time, I said, Veronica, take your foot off the brake. And as they pushed the third time, it rolled back. I was able to pull my feet up into the car, put my foot on the brake, and as you can see, I still have two good ankles. What did I learn? First of all, prevention is the best medicine. I should have fixed the emergency brake and I should have left the car in gear. Secondly, teamwork is absolutely necessary to get the job done. We doctors are all part of the team, but we are not the most important part of the team. And given that our country, after the presidential elections, is so divided on how we should go forward with health care, we have to find a way to learn to work together so that everyone gets the health care that they need. And lastly, People have more strength and ability than we give them credit for. And if we give priority to the vulnerable and those in need, everyone will get the health care that they rightly deserve. By giving me this award, you are recognizing all of the above. We are grateful that you chose Dr. Scarnati's nomination. I am grateful. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart.